Number one was money. Number two was power. Number three was sex. Number four was drugs. Number five was family. It's a, I mean, that's some pretty, excuse my French, and pretty screwed up values. And that's some of the values that really got my country into where it is right now. And this financial crisis was going after short-term profits. What happened was they threw Jordan in prison for nearly two years for stock market fraud. I had lost everything. I lost all my money, my freedom, my family, most importantly, my self-respect. It's a mug's game, but it's difficult to resist. Jordan believes that in losing the lot, he gained more than he lost. You know, when I look at the board, one thing I always remember that bulls make money and bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Hi, welcome to this video, Dave, which is all about how banks and hedge funds make billions in profit per annum with a very simple strategy. And if you learn what they do, you can actually do the opposite and beat the majority of fund managers, which will become clear as we go through the video. Now, I've kicked off um, the start of the video with a clip there of Jordan Belfont, who the so-called Wolf of Wall Street. Um, he was known for ripping off his clients. He ended up in jail, and it's now been made into a film with Leonardo DiCaprio. And he basically illustrates the greed that exists in you know, the bank and hedge fund industry. Now, many people think that you know, banks and hedge funds trade Forex and make money for clients. It's totally not true. If you look at the performance of you know, managed funds, you'll see it's very, very poor. Very few can actually get into double figures per annum. And there was a very interesting study done which shows basically the strategy that the banks and hedge funds use to make money. And it was done by a guy called Simon Lecker, and he, he published a book called The Hedge Fund Mirage. And in that book, he actually worked out that if you'd invested in the average hedge fund in 1998 through to the present day, um, you'd have been actually better off in performance terms by double to have invested in US T-bills, i.e. fixed interest. He also worked out that you know that, that performance is without all the hedge funds that were shut down in the period through losses. And he worked out that um, you know, hedge funds that have been shut down totaled around 700, I think it was billion in, in client losses. But the hedge funds have made something like 500 billion in, in commission. And this is the, the secret of, you know, hedge funds and banks, how they make money. They don't make money by, you know, making uh, client profits. They turn client equity into commission, which means they over trade. You'll see a lot of hype about day trading, scalping, high frequency trading. It doesn't work to make money. All you are doing is trading random noise in the market. But to hedge funds and banks, it doesn't matter. They will make commission by trading regularly. And you, you hear a lot about the science of Forex markets and so forth. There's no science involved at all. It's a game of probabilities. The science myth, myth, myth is totally inaccurate. So banks and hedge funds are just trading huge volumes of trades to generate commission. So the lesson you can learn is to basically not trade too often. You're under no pressure to make commission. So. If you look at a Forex chart, you will see long-term trends that last for you know, weeks or months or sometimes even years. And all you have to do is just get into those trends and hold them for profit, okay? So you're trading longer term, you've got the odds on your side, and you can just basically trade infrequently and make money. Now, can you beat 10% you know, per annum? I think you can. Now, hedge funds and banks struggle to do this, but your advantage is you can be very patient and you can basically wait for the high odds opportunities. Now, a lot of traders think that you know, banks and hedge funds have really sophisticated trading systems. Well, they do, um, but they don't make money. Um, it's proven that simple systems work best, you're trading probabilities. And you know, if advanced systems really did work, then you know, more traders would make money, and they don't. The, the percentage of traders who lose money uh, remains the same. It's 90%, it was that figure 50 years ago, it's that figure today, and it will be in you know, 50 years time. 
So what you can learn from banks and hedge funds is not to be intimidated by the so-called professionals. Get yourself a simple system which is simply based around probabilities. Be patient and wait for the high odds opportunities and then you can make a lot of money. And I think you know in the forex industry today there is a lot of you know, hype about you know banks and hedge funds making money. Uh, the facts don't prove it and you know it's one of those things where traders are intimidated by the markets. They shouldn't be. If you want to make money, do what most traders don't. Trade longer term, don't trade short term. Keep your system very simple and you can make a lot of money trading the forex markets. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Have a good day.